Wake up with Matt in the morning. Thanks for waking up with me again. I'm still Matt. This is still Matt in the morning. Today's video, pork spare ribs. These are hands down some of the best ribs I've ever had. A lot of work goes into them, but it's worth it. Trust me. You, yeah, just try it. If you don't have a pellet grill, it's fine. You can do it on a regular grill. Uh, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to eat these things. My mouth is watering thinking about them. Pork spare ribs coming up. Let's go downstairs and just get into this thing. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're doing St. Louis style pork ribs. As you can see, I've already got a base of salt, pepper, and garlic. Now I didn't do much because the dry rub I'm using, the main dry rub I'm using has salt in it. So yeah, you can see I already just have a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic on each side. Just really, just to really bring the flavor out of this, uh, of these spare ribs. Now I'm gonna add a binder, which is just some mustard. This is not for flavor. This is just to get the, uh, the dry rub, the main dry rub to really stick on there good. So I'm just gonna put some of this on both sides. Again, I just did a little bit of pepper, salt, and garlic. Um, I think everything should have those three on it. Um, so it did just a little bit. Really wanna get this mustard on, on all the ends, everywhere on it. Now you can use olive oil or whatever else you'd like to use as a binder. Uh, again, it's not for flavor or anything. Now I'm just using Famous Dave's Rib Rub. Uh, I don't have a go-to on rib rubs. I'm new to the rib world, so a lot of guys and gals, they make their own, and that's fine too. I don't have a go-to, so I just use whatever. Uh, you want to get that good on each side. Now this is where the main flavor is going to come from on these ribs, is this rub. So I'm going to flip it over, hit both sides, and you don't have to really rub it in because we've got that binder. We've got that mustard as that binder, so no need to worry about that. You want to hit all sides, get the ends real good. Yeah. Now again, this is a St. Louis style spare ribs, so it's already been trimmed up for us. We didn't have to do any trimming on it. What I do like to do is just make sure there's no bone spurs, anything, you know, bone chips, anything from the butcher shop that may be stuck on there. So I did already check that. Um, so yeah, these things are looking good. Got them good and seasoned up here. Uh, at this point, I'm going to head on out and crank the pellet grill. I use a Green Mountain Grill, uh, Daniel Boone Prime. I'm gonna crank it up to 235 degrees. Once it's up to temp, I'll bring you guys back, we'll slap it on, and we'll go from there. Hey guys, as you can see, the, uh, the pellet grill is still coming up to temp. Still getting there. But I wanted to mention, I also have a sauce, which you can use whatever. Uh, some people use straight apple juice, some people use a mix. I use, this is 50-50, apple cider vinegar and apple juice. Um, we're gonna be spraying this thing about every 45 minutes. Um, and it's really not so much for flavor, it's just for moisture. Uh, we want these ribs to be good and, good and moist, not dried out. So just wanted to mention that real quick because I came out here to check on the pellet grill. All right, everybody, we're right at 235. We're gonna go ahead and throw these pork spare ribs on. So, just like that. And I'm starting these out meat side down. After 45 minutes, I'm gonna flip it. We're gonna spray it. And then another 45 minutes later, we'll spray it. I won't flip it again. Uh, some people, let's go ahead and close this. Some people do different different things when they flip it. Um, some people flip every 45, 
the first four times or so. Some people don't flip at all. Um, with barbecue, there's about 50 million different ways to do any one thing. So right. uh, anyway. it's been about 45 minutes-ish. We're gonna go ahead and spritz this thing with that 50-50 blend. You know, super important not to uh, dry these things out. Oh, and for the record, because somebody's gonna ask, yes, I'm putting on a different glove. I'm not just keeping a dirty glove on for the entire cook. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this thing. We're gonna do meat side up for the rest of the cook. Again, don't ask me why. I am new to the rib world and smoking in general. So, you know, I've gotten a lot of my tips and tricks just off other YouTubers um, and we're just doing the thing. Again, there's 50 million and three ways to do everything barbecue. Uh, we're just doing it. All right, guys. So I didn't want to bore you with uh, spritzing every 45 minutes, showing you that. Um, I mean, you simply go out every 45-ish minutes, spritz it with whatever you're using. Um, that way, it doesn't dry out. So, after three hours, I went ahead and brought this thing in, and you can see it's looking good. This thing looks real good. Looks nice and moist still, thanks to the spritzing. So, now we're gonna wrap it in foil and put it back. But first, we're gonna add some good stuff to it. So, and we're gonna do this on both sides. So first up, a little bit of butter. And then some brown sugar. Some of that brown sugar on there. This thing's gonna be nice and sweet and delicious. And then some honey. Some honey for the money. This is how he does his. So again, I'm flipping it and doing butter on the other side again. Once again, we're doing some more brown sugar and some honey. Some honey for the money. This is gonna be delicious, nice and sweet and rich. This is gonna be great. Now we're doing it meat side down because we want the meat sitting in all these delicious juices. This is gonna be this is gonna be great. Now I use for my foil, I use the heavy duty foil. Uh, you can just use regular foil and double it up if you'd like. Get this good and wrapped up. And there we go. So again, after three hours, pull the thing off on both sides, butter, brown sugar, and honey. Um, wrap it nice and tight, meat side down so that's sitting in all the juices. And we're gonna do this for, could take up to two hours, but after an hour, I'm gonna check it for doneness. And if it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. If not, we're gonna check every 15 minutes. And then from there, we'll get to the final part of this. So looking forward to it. This is gonna be really good, guys. Um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, these have been on here for an hour and 45 minutes. Oh, smoking the eyes. Oh man, these look delicious. Now, I should have took a before picture, but the bones are sticking out more and you see how this part broke, it's starting to break there. That tells me these things are good to go. All right guys, I'm back. I didn't want to bore you with just taking it out of the wrap. Always so pulled it out of the wrap. And what we're doing now is throwing some barbecue sauce on it, mopping it on. Um, I'm just using a Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Chipotle. Uh, obviously, you can use whatever you want. And then we're going to let this sit on here about 30... Ah, smoke in the eyes. About, sorry about that. About 30 minutes. Let this get good and caramelized. And then we're going to let it rest for about a half hour. Oh man. Should probably wear goggles next time. Yo, these <laughs> these ribs are looking prime time, everybody. These are gonna be good. Notice again how the meat is pulling away from the bone. That's what's telling me it's done. I don't even have to do a temperature check on that. 
And all right, I'm gonna close this up because my eyes are on fire. All right, everybody, we're back. And this thing has been sitting, it's been resting for, well, let's just say a lot more than a half hour. Something came up. Cut it. And let's see what it looks like. Oh man, that is looking good. That is looking real good. Got a decent smoke ring around it. And don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it's still nice and juicy. Um, well, let's taste it. What? That is real good. Yeah, if you wanna do ribs, you need to do them like this. People will leave your get together very happy. Of course, I gotta tell you, if these were done early before a get together, I don't even know if it'd make it. Uh, wow, these are real good. I mean, look at this, it don't get no better than this. Nice and sweet, juicy. This is the way a rib is supposed to be. So listen, if you like this video, uh, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You might as well just do that right now. Uh, like it, share it, tweet it, Snapchat it, Instagram it, whatever you want to do. Share it with your family and friends. Share it with people that aren't your friends. Um, look forward to uh, looking forward to putting out some more videos for you guys. So uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks again for watching.